Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 31. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for Ferrari versus Porsche. Uh, we're going to be taking the Porsche 997 GT2, so the 911 uh, GT2 RS car. Uh, this is the one before, obviously, the one that came out. Um, for Motorsport 7. Uh, but we're going to start off with Sebring, move on to Mugello, Circuit de Catalunya, and then Road Atlanta. Let's get going. Lovely. And the Ferrari v Porsche event. This car's obviously been upgraded about a class above what it should be, so this car's going to have additional uh, performance. Everything about you. I really like the look of this Porsche. Oh, I've just noticed they've put a watchamajig front splitter on it. And clearly no brakes. Okay. Cheers, game. Thanks for the auto upgrade help, which didn't really help. Brakes should always be a thing that's considered. Brakes and tyres are like the first thing you want to upgrade. Because if you can handle round those corners faster, it's always better. Stop to think about it. Holy crap. This thing really does want to push past the, uh, the fourth ball. I don't know. That's not the saying, is it? The brakes no work out. Let's go with that. Love you. You pisshead, Alex. How are you doing, man? Hopefully you're having a good day. Are you uh, playing that Assassin's Creed tonight? On stream. You are more of one than me. Um, Alex? How much alcohol have you drunk over the past two weeks? if you're wondering about me, I think the most I've drunk is probably four cans, like small cans of cider. That's about it in the past two weeks. Granted, tomorrow I'm going to be drinking a lot, but still. It doesn't go against my point that you're more of a pisshead than me. Did you not have me added on Facebook? got a Facebook request from grandparents. I'm like, did they not ask me? <laughs> Unbelievable. I feel deserted. Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. It's like that um, roast to the side men thing that uh, 
No offense, Bobby Bez, but half of the side men here yeah, have your mother. <laughs> fucking brilliant. Hate to break it to you, Ethan, but half of the people in this room have Mummy Bez <laughs> muted on Twitter. Oh, God. Oh, shit. What I'm searching for. Not bad. I will take that. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. The new uh, Rocksmith Plus is coming out soon. Very excited for that. I might do a stream on it. Oh, we got a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Porsche Motorsport. Yes. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Miguelo time. Rem, 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 rem. To let you know that I'll never learn. Oh, he's got the reach. This thing's really nice to drive, I'll be honest. The only thing that's letting it down is those bloody brakes. Little bit of a slide there, not too bad. Yo, no good for me. I don't need nobody. No one, that's no good for me. I gotta get four videos recorded today and five videos recorded in the next stream. Basically just to even everything out, because I did one less video in the last stream. So this one, I know I definitely won't be pushing for five videos, but the next one I can because those are technically shorter. Technically, so. still going to take approximately four and a half months to upload all of the Forza Motorsport 3 content. Like, I, th I think we'll end up finishing Forza Motorsport 3 on YouTube around about December time. That's if we can also push for some extra content. And have a small period of time, maybe a two-week period, where we can actually do double uploads. I'm hoping that if I push quite dramatically now, get a lot of content done now. Um, if I end up with about 45 episodes recorded. Um, maybe 50. If I can get 50 videos recorded of Motorsport 3 before I go on holiday. I could quite easily do double uploads for the weeks that I'm away. Easily. To sort of replace as well the content that I basically am lacking on Twitch. Oh, good for me. I don't need nobody.
Not bad. Yo, no, good for me. Not too bad. There we go. Resolve. We've got 9,800 there. Not too bad at all. We've got 10% discount on the intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by Porsche Motorsport. Woohoo. It's time to work it. It's time for Circuit de Catalunya. <laughs> I fucking love this circuit. It's brilliant for like road cars, but when it comes to race cars, it is terrible. I'm actually planning to do a um, sort of members only exclusive video as well as like a live stream um, for uh, what's it called? Like a little bit of extra content. Um, I don't know. Should I announce what I'm planning? Yeah, why not? I think I'm planning on doing some uh, some form of tier list video. I know a lot of people do tier lists and all that stuff. I I don't care if they're cringe or whatever. Um. Yeah, so I want to do a tier list and just go through like. All of my favorite motorsport tracks. Sort of rate them. Um, from F to S tier. Because there's been a lot of tracks that have come and gone in Forza Motorsport. I think it'd be really cool to judge them. Based off of how enjoyable they are to drive. All sorts. I think it'd be a really good idea. I think I'm going to do it for a uh, Sunday stream, probably next Sunday, uh, because next Sunday is pretty much the last Sunday stream that I'll be doing before going away, so it could be worth filling it in there, or Saturday, actually, could do it on Saturday. Not bad. that one up a bit. Come on. There we go. Back on track. Do, 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 do. Come on, get around the corner. There we go, lovely. 
and across the line, and my car's going to go straight off the track. There you go. And it's crashed into the wall. Woohoo! And we got driver level 40. Let's go! Oh, yeah! Koenigsegg has sent us a 2008 Koenigsegg CCGT. And we also got a 10% discount on Intercooler upgrades by Forge Germany. Nice. I think I'm more excited about that CCAGT. Uh, CCGT, sorry. Close enough. So beautiful. This is one of the few cars that I genuinely think is like jaw-dropping beauty. Road Atlanta. Let's go. Okay. Right. I do like the look of the rims on this car, actually. I think Porsche rims are actually some of the most beautiful uh, car rims out there. That come on a stock car that aren't like aftermarket. And that does not count Subaru rims, because technically speaking, Subaru rims aren't aftermarket rims. They're BBS rims. Even though they come stock on the car, still technically aftermarket, so... Oh, I really caught that one up. But yeah, Porsche makes some really nice rims. Koenigsegg just can't be beaten on their rim design, though. They're just like... Abstract. They're strange, but they suit the car so well. Like, if you were to stick Koenigsegg rims on this Porsche, they'd look hideous. But on a Koenigsegg, they match perfectly with all the lines on the cars and all that. It's a work of art. Honestly, Christian von Koenigsegg. I don't care how controversial this is. But I think he's the best car maker ever that has ever been on this planet so far. In terms of technological advances and also uh, innovation, design, just the pure wow factor of every vehicle that he makes. Genuinely think that he is one of a kind. Granted, um, I don't know his name, but the bloke that is behind Bugatti Rimac. Um, he's doing a very good job. A very, very good job. Um, but we need to see how he takes Bugatti over. Because Bugatti technically, although it has been already taken over by him. Um, Bugatti is still... Um, has the old engine. The old W16. Granted, they've released their last car with the W16. The next car is going to be like a hybrid engine. Either a V8 or V6. I'm not sure, but it's going to be hybrid. Electric and petrol. I'm not going to lie. If, if the Rimac is that insane as an electric only car, And can have that much horsepower. I can only imagine how much horsepower a hybrid Bugatti would produce. Because technically speaking, you wouldn't need many batteries. You could have enough to give you 20, 30 miles of range. And the rest of it is just produced by the engine. The engine produces some electricity that the motors can use. Um, something like that. could end up with what is a really, really fucking fast car. An engine with a thousand horsepower and a thousand horsepowers of motors. We could see a 2,000 horsepower Bugatti quite easily. To think that when 
Dodge revealed their car, their concept like 2035 car for uh, Vision Gran Turismo. That was a 2,500 horsepower, 1,000 kilo beast. Um, with aerodynamics that was enough to get the car up to 400 miles an hour and corner at 200 miles an hour. And that was a vision of the future. You think we're already, in 2022, getting cars that are near enough? I mean, that new Hennessy is 1,800 horsepower from a single V8. Like, that's ridiculous. A V8 engine that produces nearly 2,000 horsepower in the back of a normal car. It's not really a normal car, it's fucking ridiculous, but you get the point. I think that's this uh, championship done as well. Not bad. I lost some money though, because I had to spend 100 grand to upgrade the car. Gutted. Alright, so we are here for the Toyota Lexus owners meeting. We've got a Lexus. Don't want to drive a Toyota anymore. Um, starting off with Sunset Peninsula, moving on to Maple Valley, Sebring, and then Twin Ring Mategi. Let's go. It's time for the Lexus. The LFA's not in this game, I don't think. Kind of disappointing. I'm looking forward to... I, I know for a fact the LFA is in Motorsport 4. And once we unlock that car... I don't think I'll be driving any other car other than the LFA. It is my favourite... It is one of my favourite cars ever. And if I was to own, like, my dream garage, like, five dream cars, I'd probably have a Lamborghini Centenario, 1973 Nissan GTR, Bugatti Veyron, Lexus LFA, and... Probably a Tesla, to be perfectly honest. Something electric. So I can experience electric as well. To be honest, that would be my dream garage. If I could own all of those cars, I would. Does anyone want to buy me all those cars? I'd appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what a Bugatti Veyron's going for at the moment, but it's probably like 5 mil. Something stupid. <laughs> acceptable at the time it was acceptable in the 80s do do this thing is I really like the look of those exhaust tips I will be honest got love for you most car designers normally put like two oval exhausts next to each other so to stack them like that is quite interesting. And it does look really nice. It probably um, means that they can squash it down a little bit and do something with the aerodynamics as well. More than likely, there's more than one reason why they did that move. It wouldn't just be design. Nothing with a car nowadays is just design, to be perfectly honest. For the past probably 10, 15 years, a lot of cars have been made to be efficient and then designed on top of that efficiency. Not the other way wound. Wound? Fuck me. Round. Here we go, I can speak. Mm. 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 
In the eighties. Come on, come on, let's pass the Toyota! Ha <laughs> ha! I feel kind of bad. That was a slow little Toyota just having fun. And I just went Nyow! straight past it. Oh, poor Toyota. Oh, wow. It's only a car. <laughs> uh, it's 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Lexus. Not bad. Uh, tomorrow's going to be fun. I haven't done a 12-hour stream in a while, so... It's going to be quite interesting. All right, not bad. Just <laughs> rushing through my whole existence, got me twisting, can't resist it. Something's flipping on my switches, take them, break them, make them feel it. Pressure is riding me high. But it's a fire truck! Nino, Nino! <laughs> Come on, go, go, go! Nice. Don't stop, turn that up, take it higher! Through my whole existence, got me twisting, can't resist it. Something's been on my switches, take them, break them, make them feel it. Not bad. There you go. Not bad. It's flowing very nicely through these corners.
Oh, wait, we've still got another lap. I was trying to get that... Uh, trying to lap the other cars before. Which, it did not work. Woohoo. There you go, saving ghost. Please don't turn off your console. We got eight grand for that. Um, we've got a 10% discount on exhaust upgrades by Jun. Acura, Honda, Lexus, Maz Mazda, Mitsubishi, Sion, and Toyota. Nice. So uh, it turns out my record button isn't working properly. And uh, it means that I've had to do this race again, even though I've already done it. Because it didn't properly record, for fuck's sake. Oh well. Yo, Pandy, what is up? Wagwan G. How you doing? Hopefully you're having a good day. Oh, stick it to the tarmac. <laughs> Fuck you, chatting G. In it, fam. You want to get chef blood? In it. I can't do road, man. It's just cringe. It's cringe, man. That's what we should... We should rename Roadmen to Cringe Men. Because that's all they are, really. It's just cringe. Because Roadmen implies that they rule the road. Which they don't. They're just cringe. I mean, I'm not wrong, am I? They should 100% be called Cringe Men. Like, if society was to just call every roadman a cringe man, eventually roadmen would die out. Those who shall rule the road shall sex bear ladies. <laughs> I think that actually says bear laddies, because... Ah, <laughs> oh, so close! Come on, we need another hit. Mustard gas. Throw my hand. Come on, Pandy. We need another hit of the simp boss. Punch that simp boss. Hey, there we go. Finally got him below, uh five figures. Well, lucky for you, it only gets ten as a minimum. Silver rule, that silver rule. Do it again. Looking for a reason to secure up forward motion. Hey, Mech, catch. Oh, Pandy, have you resubbed? I see the badge there. There we go. <laughs> Pandy, thank you so much for that sub. 
appreciate it. For something in a hole. Paddy, thank you very much for that resub. Appreciate it, man. Oh, and it's September as well, so it's 30% uh, off. All new subs. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Can't be bothered with your ads. <laughs> That's brilliant. I haven't actually seen anyone use the new animated emotes yet. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of emotes now on my channel, I'll be honest. I've still got, like, ten slots free as well. Which is crazy. It wouldn't load up. Typically, so here's the thing with PS4s, is sometimes on the PS4, it's not the fact that Siege... If you're on about the PS4... Oh, it's PC. Okay, fair enough. I thought you were on about your PS4 version. But yeah, PS4 has its hiccup sometimes. My uh, cousin's PS4, um, before she got a PS5 and all that stuff. Um, she had to reboot it and everything. Actually, that's a good shout. I should probably ask her if I can have a PS4. <laughs> buy it off her for like 50 quid try instead of deleting uninstall uh, you might have already done it now but if you haven't instead of uninstalling it um, try moving all the files to a different folder on your PC preferably a different drive uh, use Ubisoft's tool to locate the game again it will then all work itself out. If you've only got one drive, then yeah. Try a different folder to... Just move the entire installation to a different folder. Do the locate game so that you can find that game again. Because it will stop working in the launcher unless you relocate it. And then if that doesn't work, then try verifying the game files. Um, because sometimes... Depending on the location that it can be on your PC, it can mess up even that way. Um, there's a lot of factors when it comes to PC gaming that can cause problems for you. So, see if that works. If it doesn't, then it might just be uninstall Ubisoft Connect, reinstall it. There isn't supposed to be secondary downloads. Unless you're running ultra textures, but you, you're you on a 1660. If you're running ultra textures, you're a pleb. Is it DirectX that it's trying to install? Because if it's trying to install DirectX, it takes forever. The Direct X one takes like two, three minutes. I was doing it last night and I thought my Trials Rising wasn't working. No, it turns out it just installs in the background invisibly. So you just have to leave it running for a while. Honestly, Pandy, I think with the amount of problems that you've had with your PC, I think it's time for you to just fresh install Windows. Completely reinstall them. Like, literally wipe it completely. New drivers. And just install stuff that you need. All that. Oh, I'm in the bin. 
I'll keep that position though, thank you very much. Not bad. Have a look to see what um, Google says. Google might be of some help with this. Not bad. We got eight grand for that. Woohoo! Have a look and see what rewards we get. And we get 11 grand. Oh, and we're also two subs away, Twitch, from uh, gifting an extra sub. Woohoo! So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.